Hey, welcome back. This is the second video on creating and managing your lesson plans in Google Drive. So in the first video, I showed you how to go find your grade levels folder or your team's folder and save that folder to my drive to add it over to my drive. So in this video, I will actually show you how to um, go find your lesson plan template in the template gallery and then save a copy to my drive, uh, customize it for yourself and modify it each week for your new lesson plans. So to begin this process we need to obviously be logged into Google Drive. So once you're logged into Google Drive we're going to click on create and at the very bottom of this list it says from template. When I click on from template it's going to open up a new tab and now this is the template gallery. If you've never been here this is a, a very useful place because there are templates for any number of things. This particular area that we're in right now is the Clark County District uh, templates. So uh, if there's anything Clark County related you may need, chances are the template is here. But you can also search public templates and you can find any, any number of templates for different reasons. So to find your lesson plan template, you need to go up to the search box up top and type in the three letter abbreviation for your school. So if you're Oglethorpe, you're going to type in OGL, Fowler would be FOW, Harris, JJH, so forth and so on. After you type in your school's abbreviation, hit enter, and it pulls up the templates for your school. So you have, uh, depending on which school you're at, you have different templates to choose from. Um, so once you find the template that you will be using, I'm going to use the classroom teacher template here. Uh, you click on use this template. And what that's going to do is save a copy of the template into your My Drive. So now this template is mine. I own it, and it's saved in My Drive. So now we're going to customize it. It's a blank template, but you need to make it match your subjects and match your day. So I'm going to change where, over here where it says subjects. I'm just going to highlight it and type in my subjects. I might have math, and then I have ELA, so forth and so on. You just keep going down and you customize this template uh, to match your day. After you customize your template, you want to leave it as generic as possible but still match your day so after you customize it put in anything that you will have repeated daily um, just to save yourself some time so after you customize it we want to save it up here to the right of the title uh, there's a little folder icon and that folder icon will let you save it but before you do that you need to actually make sure that you name this something that's going to help you um, keep up with it so when you click on the title of it it pulls up this box to rename it uh, I'm just going to name it my last name and lesson plan template. That way I know that it's my template for creating lesson plans. Click OK and it is now renamed to my last name lesson plan template. So now you're going to click on the folder icon. This folder icon is where uh, it's going to help you save this to whatever folder you like. So I already have a folder named Lesson Plans, which is where I would like to save my template. You may have a different folder you want to save it to. That's fine. And if you're saving it to a subfolder, a folder within a folder, and you need to see a list of the folders. So if, I, if there's a folder inside of this Lesson Plans folder that I'd like to save my template to, then you can click on the triangle over here to the left of the folder, and it expands it. So now you can see the folders inside of that folder. Um, but I'm just going to save it to this Lesson Plans folder, so I click on it and you see the check mark uh, that lets me know that it's saving my template to my lesson plans folder and then I click on move so now I have saved it to my lesson plans folder and I've named it so now you're ready to begin um, typing out your lesson plans for the first time well if you start typing into this template then it's going to make it's going to make the template have all of your lesson plans in it but we want to leave this template generic so the first thing we need to do is make a copy of this template and start typing our lesson plans in so to do that we say file make a copy this box comes up and it asks you what you want to name it by default it just names it copy of and then whatever the name of the original document is but the way that our lesson plans need to be written out um, is pretty specific so you definitely want to follow this naming scheme you want to put in a two digit month slash a two digit day slash a four digit year put a space in there put your last name lesson 
plans. So it's a two digit month, two digit day, four digit year, last name, lesson plans. Then you click on OK. You now have a copy of the template. You've renamed it to the this week's lesson plans, and now you are ready to put your your lesson plans into this template. So you go in, you fill it out, you fill out the template, put your lesson plans in there. Now you are ready to um, submit your lesson plans. And on course, there was a little box that we could check to say submit my lesson plans. Um, and so in Google Docs, it's a little bit different. So after you've typed out your lesson plans, you got them as you want you need to make sure that you come up here to the folder and click on the folder icon to organize so from here we are going to save it into our grade level folder so I find my grade level folder in my list depending on where you saved it and click on that folder so now it's this check mark is showing me that I'm about to save or post my lesson plans for the week of January 16th into this first grade lesson plans folder once you click on that folder, click on move. So now these plans are saved into that uh, first grade lesson plans folder or whatever team it is that you work on. So um, now my plans are there. They're posted. The administration can see them. My teammates can see them. We're good to go. So now let's just say that we are ready to uh, do our lesson plans for the following week. So we've already done our plans for this week. Now we're ready to do our plans for next week. Well, you need to open up the same uh, lesson plan template that you were using so this one is filled out for the week of January 16th everything's in there everything I need if I start typing on top of this one it's going to delete all of my lesson plans and then I won't have uh, this version so it's crucial that before you do you know your next week's lesson plans you make a copy of it so I'm going to go file make a copy and you remember it just names it copy of whatever was already there so I'm going to get rid of copy of and then from here all I have to do is change the date so I'm just going to change this to next week's lessons so this is now January 23rd's lesson plans I click on OK and now it makes a copy now I have if you look up at the top I have last week's lesson plans and I have this week's lesson plans so I come into this week's lesson plans I type in my lessons and then when I'm ready I just make sure that they are submitted to I click on the folder to pull up my list of folders to organize it and then I click on the grade level folder that I work with check mark tells me they are there this is like posting them and then you click on move so now my f next week's lesson plans are there they're ready to go we've gone through the entire process of creating and managing our lesson plans now let's recap the whole process one more time uh, for using Google Drive to manage our lesson plans. The first thing you need to do is get the template from the template gallery. Once you have the template, you customize it. Um, you put in your subjects to match your schedule and you put in any information into that template you can use on a weekly basis just to save yourself some time. After you customize your template, you're going to save it to my drive or to whatever folder you choose. Um, from there, after you've saved it to my drive, you want to make a copy of your template. And when you make a copy, you need to make sure that you follow this format when saving it. A two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year. This is crucial. This actually helps us whenever we're looking at lesson plans. Uh, it makes them chronological and then alphabetical, uh, in alphabetical order after the chronological date. So from there, after you format it correctly, you enter your lesson plans into your template so you type out the plans for the week and from there you're done you're ready to actually submit so you actually have to save that lesson plan to your grade level template or your team uh, your grade level folder or your team folder this part is crucial this is the equivalent of actually posting your lesson plans in on course so you need to do this in order for your administration or your uh, teammates to see your lessons from there you're ready to go in and create next week's lesson plans. You make a copy of the current week's lesson plans first. It's crucial that you first make a copy. If you don't make a copy, you're actually just typing into the previous week's lessons and you're deleting them. So then you don't have a second copy.
so when you rename it all you have to do is change the date and just make sure that they continue to follow the same date format alright that is using Google Drive to create and manage our lesson plans I know there's a lot there um, but just give it a shot see what you can do and obviously if you have any questions I'll be available feel free to email me and uh, good luck with it